Hi, this is John Selway. I'm an instructor at 343 Labs. And today we are doing a basic introduction to using the modulation matrix in Live's wavetable. We'll do this in the context of creating a simple techno bass tab. All right, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the other envelopes in Wavetable. So the amp envelope is always assigned to the volume. Envelope two and three can be assigned to any other parameter. And we do that by looking down here at the matrix, right? There's a modulation matrix where we can see all of the parameters that are available to be controlled, to be modulated, and then all of the available modulation sources whether it's the amp envelope, envelopes two or three, there's two LFOs, and then there's also external uh, MIDI signals that we can apply. But let's start with envelope two. And you can see the list of targets on the left. There's amp, which is the overall volume. That's what we were just controlling with the amp envelope. There's pitch. We can modulate the frequency or the pitch of the sound. We have oscillator one position. That's what we want to play with now. That's what I've been sweeping back and forth and playing with to sort of figure out where our starting point was. So I want to assign an envelope to move that position quickly and incorporate some of those higher frequencies that are in the wavetable. And as soon as you select a parameter in Wavetable, it'll highlight and show up in the list of targets. And if it's a parameter you haven't modulated yet, it will show up on the bottom row. So every time you select a new parameter, it'll show up in that list. Let's go down and, all right, there's that row, oscillator one position, and then I wanna go over to the column underneath envelope two, and that number there, it's going to determine the range or the amount of modulation. A higher number is going to do a wider amount and a lower number is going to do a little bit. And it's going to move the wavetable position above or below where it's set. So right now the wavetable position is at 50. If I increase this number, now you can see that the wavetable position is moving and it's following the shape of that envelope. The higher amount, you're going to see the wavetable position travel farther up before it goes back down again. And now we've got some interesting high frequency detail in this sound. Let's go the other way. If we go negative, it's inverting the direction. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. It's a little bit brighter, but it's kind of got this rubber band sort of bounce to it. Now that we've got that envelope assigned to move the wavetable position, I can still go back and manually change the position and explore what's going on in that wavetable at the same time as the envelope is moving the wavetable position. I hope you enjoyed this basic overview of using the mod matrix in Ableton Live's wavetable synth. This is part of a longer class available on our new platform, 343 Studio. We've got live events and workshops from myself and other artists and residents, and we really think you'll enjoy it. If you're interested in checking out the full class, there's a link in the description below.